guys, Crew Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. And we're back with Brooklyn Nine Nine. Last time uh-huh. we were at the lake house and we saved no the lake. relationship. Parent trap. Oh, we parent trapped him. Yeah, there's no. I think you said we saved the lake. There was no lake to save. There was no lake. Or there was, and we didn't save it. Oh, Whatever dead. happened to Ricky Lake? You know where Ricky Lake is? Hee hee. Young fool. For most people, a burrito was a delicious meal wrapped in a tortilla. But for one NYPD right her. officer, it turned out to be oh, a mouse okay. wrapped in a nightmare. Mouse! I a grande steak, you get back to my car, take a big bite, and crunch. That's what I see here. A dead mouse. Well, a dead, dead mouse now. Was Franco it dead Sullivan, when he bit into it? Oh, this guy. The union says was put there on purpose. This was an act of political violence. Oh, my God. <laughs> organized by a group of radical anti-cop Antifa anarchists. Working out of the burrito here. This is bogus. The officer called in a to-go order under the name Tom. The restaurant had no idea he was a cop when they made the food or packed the bag. So clearly, he wasn't targeted for being a police officer. I've always wanted to try mouse meat. I sure it's really tasty. <laughs> From who? The union made it up as a power move. Well, Sullivan wants me to issue a statement of public support for the officer to give them all extra hazard pay and to wear this never forget burrito ribbon. Weird. It's the exact same color as my colorblind awareness ribbon. No, it is okay. <laughs> I don't need any Okay. I was wondering what that was for. <laughs> officers understand this incident is nonsense. It is, as Peralta would say, no big whoop. Oh, I appreciate the shout out, sir, but I actually don't pronounce the H in whoop. Sir, all the uniformed officers just left. They're staging a walkout. What? It seems I was wrong. The whoop is big after all. <laughs> it, it is. Again, though, there's, there's no H in whoop. It's silent. Whoop. 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 Am I crazy? How do you say it? Say whoop. Okay. I say whoop. <laughs> I say whoop. I say whoop. 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 There it is. Whoop. Reminds there me of Family Guy. They had a whoop. Whip. Yeah. Cool whip. Yeah. Cool, cool whip. Why do you say it like that? Whip. Say cool whip. Whip. We can't let him win, and we won't. But how? What are we gonna do? I'm initiating Operation Triton. <laughs> cool. Just like the sugarless gum, because we're gonna chew them up. No, like the thing. No, the three, the three sea, pronged attack. by the Cyclops for Poseidon himself. The Trident has three prongs, like my approach. Okay. Uh, not to interrupt, but Aquaman's Trident has five prongs. That's absurd. The prefix tri means three. What this aquatic man carries is better termed a pentadent. No, it's a Trident. They call it that in the original theatrical release and the Snyder Cut. So you're 100% wrong and everyone's laughing at you. Well, regardless, <laughs> Operation Trident has three prongs. Prong one, Boyle and Peralta. Oh, nice. The most important prong. Mm-hmm. Wrong. Prong two, the center prong, is the most important prong on a Trident. It's the longest and straightest and uh, breaks the least often. Are you just mad because I questioned you about the Aquaman thing? Yes. The officers <laughs> all had doctor's notes. Prove those notes are fraudulent and they'll be forced back to work. We're on it. Prong two, Jeffers and Santiago. Your job is to keep crime down. Figure out how we police this precinct with no police. Prong two, baby. <laughs> the best prong. Robots. No, no. What's the third prong? Prong three is proving they fake the mouse in the burrito. <gasps> if we can demonstrate this Lee, with and Hitchcock the mouse, the yeah. uniforms will have to come back to work. But the investigation must be done unofficially with an investigator from outside the NYPD, <laughs> oh. a.k.a. Rosa Diaz. Oh. Good idea, but she's not going to like being one of those little dinky side prongs. That's a good point. I'll make hers the sharpest. Dismissed. <laughs> no! I want to be a sharp prong? That's not fair! <laughs> All these notes are from the same doctor. So empty. Everyone got a blood test and they all had mono? That seems really improbable. Yeah, nobody gets mono at this age. You get it as an eight-year-old and then you're immune. Wait, you get it as an eight-year-old? Mono? The kissing disease? No, it's a cousin's disease. You get it by kissing your cousins. Oh, I guess we're both right. No. Wait. Kissing cousins? If you're immune, Never had. then you could tell the doctor you're from the 99 Thank and God. when he gives you a mono diagnosis, we'll have proof that his notes are fake. Wow. I can't believe all those lazy childhood afternoons playing hide the am finally paid off. What? You see you taking yam. I don't want to know. I, I kind of do. He's an actual yam? Being sick has nothing to do with being tough. Thirdly, if I wasn't tough, would I be daring Amy to punch me in the stomach? Oh, that's on, not a great Give idea. A Fine, just so that we can move on. See? I'm fine. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go for a walk in the fresh air <laughs> with my best friend, the trash can. <laughs> I'll be back because I'm tough. Let's talk quickly before he returns. Don't. 
Don't want that trash can back. Use uniforms from other precincts because they'll call out sick too. So I asked the other captains in the district to lend us some detectives. Smart. They have a different union. They each sent us two people. They said they were happy to do it. Oh, that's odd. Hmm. I wouldn't be happy to give up two of my detectives unless. Hitchcock and, Hitchcock, and and Hitchcock and Scullies. Oh, oh there's so God. many. <laughs> there's so many Hitchcocks and Scullies. Well, the left one is enormous. Oh, well, can one testicle be larger than the other? Well, yes, but it shouldn't be that large. And also, How large is, it? is the shape and the color. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. And the texture. Wow. Well, that is ice cold. So. So. You heard all that? I did. You the part where he's talking about my youth? Yep, 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 yep. All the parts. Surprised he has any left. I mean, could be cancer. Might have spread. But I'm fine. I can handle this. You sure about that? Because you're still wearing your hospital gown there, bud. <laughs> so I am. Just put a jacket on. This is unofficial. I can't pay. Right. But there is something you can give me. Something just as valuable as money. I want to see your tattoo. That's <gasps> just as valuable. It is to Jake. He's offered a significant reward. Wow, reward. it is so ridiculous how much weight you've all given to my silly tattoo. Like it's some huge secret that I'll take to my grave. I notice you haven't said yes yet. no one can ever know. <laughs> <laughs> if you could prove how that mouse got into that burrito, I'll tell you what my tattoo is. I need a photo of it. You're a monster. <laughs> I'm not about to deal with you. Santiago, how's prong two looking? Well, the good news <coughs> is the Scully and Hitchcocks actually work well together. Well, that is good news. The bad news is it's at making a back scratch circle. I have always wondered what it would be like to have a tight knit work family. <laughs> nine nine. Nine nine. Oh my god. Ah, there they are. Prong you didn't even get his clothes? Death mocks us all. Time to go tell my son I'll be an orphan again. <laughs> so, yeah, prong one. Pretty much broke immediately. I'm gonna call HR, get ahead of that butt. <laughs> but I've always believed that true toughness means acknowledging your own limitations. It's okay, Terry. Go home. Thank you, sir. I'll be back in a gym. I can't believe you bought that dribble. True toughness means working through pain. Everyone knows that. Peralta, where are we with the doctor? We're going to tail him and see if he contacts O'Sullivan. Smart. And uh, what is going on with Detective Boyle? Is he okay? Oh, you mean why is he face deep in cheese? Yeah, it's made from the milk of a <laughs> Balkan cake. donkey, and apparently it's quite expensive. Spent 12 thou on ass cheese. Also, he's pretending like he doesn't know what Dollars? Like. Oh, you guys still have lunch together? <laughs> Twice a day every day. Look, I'm Twice a day lunch? Yeah. All right. What motivates you? Well, I you can join me. But some uniforms heard that I called out sick, and they assumed I was joining the blue flu. They invited me to a meeting tomorrow to talk strategy. And recover. Don't record them admitting that they don't actually have a mono. That is, if you're up to it. Hell yeah. Terry's gonna tough it out. Terry's also gonna drink some raspberry leaf tea that Sharon uses to help with menstrual cramps. Oh, it looks like we're adding a prong. Operation Trident is now. Operation Four. Are we gonna end up with five prong buddy in this? Operation Four. I mean, something more like Trident. I don't know. Did everyone assume I was trying to be cool? Is that why things are going so poorly? Is that it? <laughs> I've got a call for all. No, <laughs> Operation Fork is definitely not cool. Uh, yeah, things are going good here. We're just staking out the doctor and trying to keep a low profile. Your Sorry about that. Just had a bit of a noisy neighbor. You know what? Sir, we have another noisy neighbor. I'm just gonna call you back. Bye. All right, Charles, I get it. You're scared, but sometimes it helps to say our fears out loud. You know, if you put words to them, it can take away some of their power. So come on, stop bottling up those fears and get them out in the open. I'm scared that whatever's in my testicle has spread and that I'm gonna die. And then I'll never get to see Mikolaj grow up. And I won't know what kind of man he becomes. Also, my time with you will be cut short. No more stakeouts or drinks after a long shift or midnight calls when you've had a breakthrough in a case. I've always had this image of us in our 90s hunting down criminals at the retirement home. <laughs> but I guess that was just a dumb fantasy. Because soon I won't be here anymore. Because I'll be dead and gone and you won't ever see me again. Jake, are you crying? No! <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was even doing that. I was like, I hope we pan over and he's crying. Well, because in one minute, you're going to be showing me your tramp stamp. I don't have a tramp stamp. Prove it. Show me your lower back. 
since I didn't know what our concept was. But I'm not going to show you anything until you solve the case. Surveillance footage of McCaffrey entering a pet store and buying a mouse. Wait, does anybody have one or doesn't he found it in his burrito? He's going to uh, it up. Huh. Yeah. Damn. Damn. And now, my payment. <gasps> okay. No, I want to know. There will be a picture. My guys are under attack. No, I just proved that it wasn't an attack. He faked it. Not that attack. This attack. The one where you call a policeman a liar. He is a liar. Oh, dear my God, you just did it again. Do you understand he, he, the worst thing you can do to another person is to call that person a liar? You hate cops. That's fact. I, I, He's such I a great actor for this. Who was about a mouse and a burrito. Well, it was, but now it's about you saying it wasn't. Well, that doesn't make any sense. So you're calling me stupid? That's not what I said. So you're calling me a liar. I just don't know how to talk to someone like you. Someone like me? Wow. That's racist. <laughs> oh, this is a very frustrating <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's a> great <laughs> can't be reasoned with. I need an update. Prong one? More broken than ever. Oh, he's, he's on the cheese now. now. He's on the cheese. Anyway. Santiago, how is prong two doing? We're killing it. According to the pedometers I put on the Hitchcock and Scullys, they're out walking their beat. And it's all Are they just like yeah, shaking they've... their pedometer? No, I was complimenting you. Well, screw you anyway. Yeah. As for prong four, Jeffers is recording the officer's secret meeting as we speak. And I expect he'll be bursting into my office any minute with the proof we need to end the blue flu. I got the proof we need to end the Oh, I hope it works. What, what is that? I had the mic close to my chest, so I guess it must have picked up my stomach noises, but I'm sure it stops eventually. More stomach. More stomach. It's all stomach. And there it is. The batard. <laughs> I need your help. Our arrests are so way down. Oh, yes. <laughs> he has one on his neck. Oh, oh my God. Life always finds a way. To do what? <laughs> to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a bucket list? Well, yeah, but I mean, it's only one item. Great. Whatever it is, we're doing it. Live to be 110. Uh, Come on. I thought I found a loophole. Okay, how about this? <laughs> I found a loophole. <laughs> It's not cancer, not cancer. It's an infection, and it's highly treatable. I'm not gonna die. You're not gonna die. <laughs> we gotta celebrate. Uh, does it say if it's safe to ride a two-person banana boat? I don't know. Let me check. It doesn't say. Oh well. <laughs> and also, I think I just figured out how all those officers got their fake diagnoses. <laughs> Tell us what's written there. Patient's left testy is gnarled and shows discoloration. No, not that. There at the top. Chiricam Medical Laboratories. Yes, so. So we thought it was the doctor handing out fake diagnoses. He's, but he's clean. However, the officers knew he used Share Chem Lab, and that lab is owned by David Share, brother of 99 officer Michael Share. The lab faked the blood results. None of the officers are actually sick, which means they have no excuse to miss work. Well, unfortunately, that Stop. is. Stop. I know you're going to twist my words into some vicious attack on you and the NYPD. So before you do that, I'd like the pleasure of making the vicious attack myself. Oh, sir, your insults are kind of known to be a little too thinky. Maybe you should just let oh, me. Oh, Sullivan, you are a. And I hope you can shove right into your. Wow. Well, that was definitely not too thinky. Okay, okay, okay. You got me. The men didn't have mono. They weren't sick. Damn right. Uh, they are now. What? It seems they had a meeting and somebody showed up with a very bad stomach Jeffers. bug and gave it to everyone there. I believe the officer's name was a uh, Lieutenant Jeffords. The card. Hey there, sir. You missed the morning briefing. And I see you found Charles's cheese. Mm, it appears Not the cheese. Despair. No. <laughs> you can't focus on the things you didn't do. Focus on what you did do. And more importantly, focus on who you did it with. Boyle, you're absolutely right. I am? My speech turned your life around? No, I found it trite and uninspiring, but something you said resonated. Focus on the things you didn't do. I said not to focus on the things you didn't Again, do. Again, your speech meant nothing. I'm just picking out individual words. You said, yeah. Hot damn. Huh. I know how to end the blue flu. I've found a fifth prong. <gasps> the five prongs? Number of cases thrown out at arraignment for insufficient evidence down 34%. And here's the most important thing we didn't do. We didn't make the community less safe. Rates of major and violent crime, what actually matters, stay the same. Who do you hmm. say? I'm saying the 9-9 just became a case study for how a police force can work better with fewer police. Are you actually talking about laying off cops? If these numbers persist, 
I may have no choice. <laughs> I'll just end the blue flip. Great, that's what I want. I don't want to end the blue flip. Great, fewer cops. That's what I want. Yeah, just said that. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's so good. We're going to use what we learned this week to change the way the NYPD polices our streets. Okay, awesome. Very inspiring. Now, on to more important things. I have a yes. Rosa, a photograph of Captain Holt's tattoo. Oh, oh, my God. I'm sorry, Captain. But there's nothing you can do that will stop me from revealing that your secret and embarrassing tattoo is a dot. Huh? It's a dot. Decimal point. Oh, what a first thought mathematical symbol. Might as well have gotten a greater than or equal to sign. I can't believe I spent $2,000 on a dot. Uh. You did? I know, Amy. We're both upset about the same thing. Call <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rosa. Somewhere in New York. What the hell? <laughs> you want to tell anyone what you saw? They wouldn't believe me if I did. I mean, come on, sir. It's a picture of not a doctor. Damn you! No! no! Uh, they did this on <laughs> purpose. That's so funny. Somewhere in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. She sold a fake tattoo picture. <sighs> Yep, and she got I paid mean, to fake it, it. it. Yeah, it would make sense because she's getting paid from him yep. for this and getting paid by him for this. And now like, she has black men forever. And, and he did it like, it's a decimal point. <laughs> 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 Which, I mean, I would believe Holt had that. Sure. <laughs> you know, my brother-in-law has three decimal points. Ellipses? Yeah, he has it on a tattoo right like on his uh, wrist. Waiting. It's like his tattoo's loading still. <laughs> like eventually it'll get there. Sure. <laughs> My arm will message me eventually. Yeah. Don't know what they're typing. Oh, man. The only tattoo I've ever considered was the one by my deaf ear to show that my ear is deaf. But in the deaf community, there is a war. And that is, do you show a deafened symbol or do you show a mute symbol? Mm. Like one makes way more sense than the other, but one is far more recognizable than the other. Yeah. So you mean like headphones with a... Or a microphone. A microphone deadened or whatever. And then also, like, you know, uh, the, like, the, sound deadened. Yeah. The sound deadened one's not... People don't... They look at that and they're like, eh, that is, what does that mean, you know? Though it technically... There's no sound coming through here, you know? Anyway, it's a whole thing. I'll probably never get it. I mean, if it's a microphone mute, it's just like, my voice is muted coming mm-hmm. in here kind of thing, right? No. I like the, the, You've never the considered way that they... Uh, no! Well, I mean, I've thought about them, but I'm like, I'm not going to get those. <laughs> when? When am I going to do that? I don't know. And why? You have to be knocked out. I mean, then I wouldn't notice. You should have done it during my surgery. You should have, yeah. Two for All one. right, can you do this, do this, and give me a bulbous sort of sleeve on my left arm? <laughs> like, what do you yeah. I've considered the Berserk brand, but I wanted to know how it ended. Now. I get what you mean. I think that just not, <laughs> don't get the tattoo, but keep a record of what tattoo you were going to get. Sure. And then time capsule that wait until you're 50 and see like <laughs> all right so whew, glad i didn't get that one i uh, forgot about that i'm not i'm not even part of that religion anymore you know like all the things that you sure regret or would not like you get like a religious verse or something like, 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 a, like, a, sure. like a quote yeah and then 10 years later you're like i mean i shit. betcha <laughs> you know, like, when i was 20 i would have gotten something like that sure you know? like, like, i'm not, I'm not a scientologist hostage. anymore what have i done sure. <laughs> The prequels can't break you. Nothing will. Had the, that Hubbard trans for Rick. whatever reason. <laughs> the evidence of things unseen. <laughs> uh, this is a fun one. It is no. a, well, I mean, a crazy situation, too, obviously. Yeah. yeah. I, I like that the end result is beating him by being like, all right, well, here's the bad stuff that's down. Yeah. And ultimately, the, the bad stuff that's the problem that is the reason we're police officers is unchanged over this week. So we'll just keep studying this. Maybe we won't need as many police officers. He's like, well, shoot, we better not do this. We need our police officers on the force. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh, good, that's what I want. Uh, then I won't do that. So it's like, what do you do? Do you stay back and do this strike kind of thing so that now they can be like, you know what? Not having this many cops, we kind of just enforce the, the things that we need to enforce. And there's not that extra quota kind of thing, probably, yeah. right? That yeah. the stat thing they were talking about is like that quota idea. Comstead. Comstead, I need yeah. this many tickets or Yeah, like how do, you, how do you study that, right? Like do you just... Do you take it away? Like, does that put people at risk? Sure, yeah. No, it's a hard thing to measure because 
in the idea that we need these police officers to keep the streets safe, you pull them off. Yeah. Well, are they safe? Really, yeah. Are, you are you, need are they like endangering more people or the city by pulling them out? You, you need all the <clears throat> cops sick and out, right? Mm-hmm. So, I wonder if we got any info like peak pandemic. Yeah. Like um, how many cops went down and how long? Sure. That? But that was a that's a tricky one too because you also have like everything closed, right? So you also don't have sure. people out on the street. And if they were There's out, a on lot the street, of variables. Yeah. Like there weren't people robbing banks when everything was closed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it'd be, so it'd be hard to find a control to. Compare it to them. yeah, hmm. but also like his uh, one thing in the bar when he's just talking about like that I could change everything and do this and do that, and like the N- NYPD will never change, and like I get like his point of like it's really really hard to try to make this change happen yep. or make any change happen or whatever. Yeah, I mean there's like so much investment from the thing that you want to change to not change, right? Like like. Usually, the things that need change are the ones benefiting from how it's happening. Sure. So, like, they do not want the change. Unless the change is better for them as well. Sure. But that's not always the case. Yeah. If they're, and why risk it? If they're making money or coming out on top, they don't want it changed. Yeah. So, yeah. As someone that loves Scrubs, O'Sullivan is casted perfectly. Because... That guy can say the most maddening stuff in the world, and it's still hilarious. He's just his his delivery is so good. Sure, I loved him in Scrubs. Oh. He was he's great. Yeah, I need to watch Scrubs again. Yeah, I've me too. That'd be Scrubs, a good one. But I've watch. seen a little Doctor Cox. Wait, you haven't seen Scrubs? Nope. Man, I really like Scrubs. Great show. Uh, I might like it more than The Office. I haven't seen that either. I'd say so. <laughs> Maybe as a whole. I mean, The Office and the Scrubs. Yeah, The Office and Scrubs both have a moment where it's like. Oh, this is different. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we get asked a lot, like, how do you guys stay offline and, you know, uh, avoid spoilers and stuff? It's like, well, because when you go online, especially stuff like Twitter, like, conver- that's the only type of conversation you can find. That's good. Like, and it's maddening. I don't want to be a part of it or listen to it. Like, you know, the conversation, we, you know, these, these circles, these traps, it's all about combating. It's not about discussion, you know? Sure. And that's just like... I understand that it's the most drama fueled, and it's the it's the one that people like to root on, and they you know they want the person on their side to do the best in the battle, you know. Um, but I just can't stand it. Moderation doesn't get a lot of engagement. Mm-hmm. I get what you mean. Doesn't I think pushed. I think online too, like there's no one's minds being changed on the internet. Like everyone's already in their mindset, and they're just typing. Yeah. Like they need to find or see something. And I've been in those discussions before, and I feel like lots of times it's like. I am taking time to look at what you're saying and what you're sharing or whatever, but I don't feel like it's being reciprocated. Sure. And I feel like you're taking like one thing and then just going with that, and you're ignoring all the reasoning, Absolutely. all the reasoning for it. You know, because well, yeah. everything has to become uh, dual opinions, right? Like there's like Republican, Democrat. If you are one of these, then you believe this. If you're one of these, then you believe this, and they fight against each other. And if you say like, actually, I'm over here, but I kind of believe stuff over here. Then these people yell at you, you know? Like, there's a whole bunch of, like, pressures to just pit you against something and thus engagement, sure. right? No, like, I, all over society. <laughs> so I just, like, it's so easy to stay away from it. And also, I don't get spoiled for stuff because people love to do that, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, the first rule of rhetoric and debate is to be willing to be persuaded. Yeah, like, exactly. And if you're not that, then why even do it? Which is why one of my favorite common debate tactics is to take the position that you don't hold. So then you have to research and you have to give it a fair shake to find, okay, how do I defend something I don't even believe in? Sure. My most recent one was about, uh, so like, it was the Trump had the stuff at Mar-a-Lago, right? Like all the paper documents and the stuff. The classified documents. Yeah. And then more recently they were like, oh, Biden yeah. has that stuff. And there was someone that was like, hey, I heard, you know, I heard your boy had the mm-hmm. stings. I'm like, well, he's not, he's not like my boy. He just, he's our president right now. Sure. You know? But they were like, well... What do you think? Do you think you gotta investigate him? It's like, well, hopefully. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Like, I don't yeah. care if they do, because he had him and he shouldn't. Same I'm, thing. Not, I'm not like, no, don't. What are you yeah, doing, no. FBI? Don't be looking well, into it's him. Well, because all no, the, like, investigate it. I don't know. Like, like I'm not the, against it. That's the problem, though. Like, that person came to you with a headline and said, look at this headline. What do you think now? But they didn't go to the particulars. They didn't say that, well, you know, Biden, like, told his staff, like, hey, this stuff's going on with Trump. Make sure I don't got anything. Guess what? Michael Pence just did the same thing. Yeah, Pence he told, just did the he same told thing. his staff, 
Do I got anything? Like, yeah, you got some classifieds. Like, all right, send it back. I don't want it. But Trump is like, motherfucker, this is mine. Yeah. You know, you, you can't come it. in. You get out of here. He's asking for it back. He called it his property. So after the headline, there's a discussion where you can talk sure. about the particulars. And a lot of that stuff gets skipped, I feel like, yeah. usually, too. But it was just like, the viewpoint was like, well, you were against. You wanted Trump to be investigated. Yeah. You probably don't want Biden to be investigated, right? Like, I do. No, if he did Whatever something, did. investigate him and yeah. see what happens. I, I don't look at him as like ah, my yeah. I don't know, Almighty, you know, yeah, or I don't anything. Like, worship them. Someone yeah. taking work home is not a big deal to me. I mean, I, obviously they're classified stuff. It's the person that's refusing to give them back. Sure, which I think was the bigger issue with Trump, yeah. right? Like people were like, hey, he has this. Yeah, give but it back. Maybe. That's mm. the thing. Like, it's not about the Why content. I'm not saying that. That means that Trump's 100% in the wrong and Biden's 100% in the right. That's ridiculous no. and a fantasy. But we shouldn't debate with just headlines. Sure, you know? sure. And that entire aggravating conversation is this all is a very frustrating conversation. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, there's so many things that happen every day. Mm -hmm. Like, y you can't educate yourself 100% on all of them. You can't. And just because we're aware and, and people are aware of this doesn't mean that we don't do it, too. Obviously, yeah. everyone does it. It's just... Can you recognize you're doing it and stop doing it? Yeah, yeah. Hell, Which right is now why I just stick, stay offline sometimes. Right now, there's people talking about if Putin's dead or not. He's dead. Well, I didn't hear no, that. No, like supposedly Zelensky. Well, not supposedly. Zelensky had made. Zelensky I don't. Him? I don't want to say accusations, but he was like saying like I don't even know if he's even alive anymore because yeah. apparently he was going. He's going through like pancreatic cancer mm -hmm. and uh, something else. I forget what the other one was. It was like two things, and uh, Parkinson's. I think was the other thing mm -hmm. that he has, mm -hmm. and. Uh, like he's used some like chroma key is what they kept he kept saying like they're using chroma key and stuff where it looks like he's in places yeah. and he's like I don't even think that he's actually doing things half the time and they have some stand in doing things so like he could be dead and they're just like pretending he's alive so he 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 started pushing that Vlad Vladimir could be dead <laughs> and, um, yeah. and then people were like Vlad's dead and I'm like well I don't know about that and, and despite There's no information yeah, yet he, despite, he just said that despite a bias like well you still have to verify you still have to have evidence <laughs> yeah. like. You know, the, a lot of people think the moon landing was fake, even though we can literally shoot a laser, it hits the shit that we put on the moon, it comes back. Like, it's proof. We can do that. Anybody can do that with a high enough power laser. But when they were marketing this thing, they did a lot of shots that they said were in space or on the moon, but it was doctored photos because they wanted good shit to get out there, you know? But just because they're, it's true that they did doctor stuff doesn't mean the whole thing's fake. You gotta go and you gotta look if you care enough, right? Some people just don't care enough, so the the headlines are enough. Sure. And I'm certainly guilty of that. And trust can be a very uh, visceral thing, mm -hmm. right? Or like you break it once and it's yeah. And the thing too is like with headlines, especially I think today, it's half the time clickbait to get you to start looking. Not yeah. even the information inside is exactly what the headline says. You yeah. Know? So like, sure. there's that trick too of like, <laughs> can you even trust the headline? Or it's a headline from the Onion, and yep. the news just runs with it. Yeah. And then someone shared it on Facebook, and now my dad, my dad believes it. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? Yep. laughs> so that kind of stuff happens. But I think this show is a Michael Shore show, just like The Office, and I think so. Uh, yeah. Maybe right. And the the person they're talking about, Michael Share. I wonder if that was a. Was it Michael or... I thought it was David Cher. Oh, I thought they, uh, I well, wrote Michael Cher, but maybe I was thinking... Oh, Michael David and Michael... They were brothers. Was a brother. Yeah, they were brothers. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I, I wonder if it was meant to be a reference to Michael Shore or not. Maybe. I don't know. It was close. Could have been. <clears throat> I'm glad Boyle's testicles will be okay. I figured, like, after the bat incident, he should be getting those checked out regularly. Mm, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't maybe, sound I'm very sure. tough, Rick. <clears throat> Go ch get things checked. Ridiculous. Yep. <laughs> I, I'm. This is one of the things where I can be like, "Look, that's toxic ma masculinity." Like, I'm so tough, I don't need to go to the hospital. But I am so guilty of it. I can recognize that that's a toxic thing about me. But I've just been instilled with that. It's like you're sick. I'll just go to work. You'll be fine. Because yeah. I had my dad had a cough for 25 years. Never addressed it. Watch Predator just the other day. Yeah. Jesse been turns up there. I ain't got time I to bleed. Time I'm to like bleed. you're damn right, Jesse. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> yes, that's what we do as men. But it's so dumb. <laughs> you know, like, granted, if you're in a predator situation in the jungle, yeah. maybe you need to tough it out. But whenever you just are avoiding going to a physician, like I am, a dentist, uh, you know, walk it off as it's such ingrained as in, in me from a child, you know, that I both recognize that I do that and don't make an effort to change it. Hmm. 
I'm sad that. Yeah, like I wonder if that. This is your fault. I'm just <laughs> I know. Saying. Well, yeah. well, you get better. It's yeah. literally a part of my masculinity that's toxic to me. Yeah, sure. Like, is that factoring into high rates of male suicide? Sure. Right. Like, you're not allowed to take it easy or mm-hmm. discuss like hardships yep. or anything. So hmm. you just hold it in until. I did like that in this. It didn't necessarily seem too masculine focused because also like Amy was like agreeing with Holt during parts when it's yeah. like. I can't believe you bought that dribble. You know, yeah. she's like, "Yeah, right." <laughs> like, yeah, Tubby would stay. She's no, like, stay I, I you can do this too. And but, I, they're just tackling like the insecurities of Terry, which they've done a few times here and there. And Terry's the perfect person <clears throat> because no one's going to look at Terry and be like, "He's not tough." But it doesn't matter to him. Sure, yeah. He doesn't want to be seen as weak. Yeah, they're not picking Boyle. No, for it. Yeah, even though I think Boyle would. I don't know. I think he'd stick around a lot longer than he should. I mean, Boyle, <laughs> you know, like he's like dedicated, <laughs> loyal kind of guy. Yeah, I mean. But Boyle did the same thing, right? Like, he knows that his testicle is misshapen, a different color, a different and temperature, cold. and did not go to the doctor. He just happened to be at the doctor, and the doctor happened to look at it. Yeah. Because the doctor did his job. Yeah. And but Boyle he, didn't, he didn't recognize there's something wrong with him. He's, yeah. Neither did his wife, right? He's, he has a wife yeah. with Nikolaj. Nikolaj, yeah. I mean, Maybe she are you assuming it's been this way for months? Or, like... I just assume. If I are you get saying that, are you think it's from the bat this whole time? If it happens to me, <laughs> I don't know. Look, here's the thing: if I if I feel sick or you know if I'm like ah, I'm gonna tough it out, but something happens to a testicle, I'm at the emergency room in an hour. I feel like I would notice. What do you mean by it happens to a testicle? If it was a, if it's unlike, giant, misshapen, size. cold, and by all purposes, Sh- a sure, big you're naming thing. off everything he had. Yeah, like I, mean, I guess more of like where's your line of what you mean? Like if something happens, like if it's just big. If it's lower if than If I ever normally, get a pimple on there, I'm like, I, I think this is a pimple. I'm not sure. But I should check that. I get terrible, terrible poison ivy. And the last time I actually had to go to the hospital to address it, like it was in my eyes, my mouth, my nose. But I went to the hospital when it reached my junk. Because what, am I going to not touch it? Yeah. And it's not going to spread? No, just don't touch it. There are certain things a man can do. I feel like, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine Nine. We hope that you enjoyed the reaction, the discussion, and uh, what's going to be coming up uh, in future reactions. And if you just can't wait, Patreon.com/slash/blindwood is the place to go, where you can get up to a month advance reactions, not just for this, 